Now another example of gun violence over a simple mistake. This adorable six-year-old girl and her parents are still recovering from wounds they suffered when cops say their neighbor opened fire. Why? They say because a basketball rolled onto his yard. Stephen Fabian spoke with Dr. Phil about why we keep hearing about incidents where a trigger is pulled over such an everyday occurrence. Another day, another senseless shooting. This time, it's the littlest victim, a kindergartner. We got a six-year-old with a gunshot wound to the head. It happened as a bunch of kids were playing basketball, and the ball rolled into the neighbor's yard. According to a report, the neighbor got into a confrontation with one of the kid's parents. He went back in the house to get his gun and came out blasting. The girl's father was badly injured trying to shield her. He's got a single gunshot wound to the chest. Stitches from the bullet wound still scarring her cheek. Little Kinsley White has a heartbreaking question for the suspect. Why did she shoot my daddy and me? Cops raided the suspect's house outside Charlotte, but say they are still searching for Robert Singletary. Kinsley's is the latest crazy case of an American being shot over an innocent mistake. Cheerleader Peyton Washington was shot in the back and leg when another cheerleader accidentally opened the door of the wrong car in a park parking lot in Austin. Teenager Ralph Yarl was shot in the head after ringing the wrong doorbell in Kansas City. Kaylin Gillis was shot to death after driving down the wrong driveway in upstate New York. We spoke to Dr. Phil. These are really innocent mistakes. People turning down the wrong driveway, a basketball rolling into somebody's yard, yet people are getting shot. People are dying. Why is this happening? There has to be a pre-existing mindset where somebody is on the edge, they're, they're already agitated and they're on the edge because they're not reacting to the stimulus. They're reacting to some state of mind they've got in their head that's causing them to overreact. I hope everybody that hears this takes a deep breath and says, calm down. You know, instead of picking up a gun, if you think you're under attack, pick up the phone, call 911, do, something different. Don't pick up a gun and start pulling the trigger, for God's sakes, and certainly when there are children involved. Why did you shoot my daddy and me?